it could be I, call, I can call it scene like African scene some things have been distracting us for generation to generation it's when other mind came to us to our ancestors for a long long time and then they changed what they're thinking about their belief how they were worship their god how they were doing things in that times before and uh, other community came especially like from christianity to islam they came to africa they corrupt our mind they change us we took their name we took their culture we took everything we took their belief that is the war we're still fighting now a black muslim is going to kill easily an african christian easily without question about that that is the war and vice versa and vice versa that's the war and the mind has created and bring something there and people keep thinking oh these people they want to change us they will can't be changed they already change us they already change us for long times they already take us our name now we have their names see we forgot our names we have to have every you know some people they keep their own name but most majority we took islam name or christian name for always believing a, a father he may be fight with his daughter because he's got to marry somebody with different beliefs can you imagine this thing happening there we didn't know we are one that's how our minds got to make us to be one to be one god together not to follow what other belief came to us we accept that belief we become fanatic for their other people's belief like we have ever not and i tell you each the original inch see you see the names is somebody's thought because everything they start together all all people start together and the country they form the muslim they form the islam they form the buddhas they form and everybody everybody came came with different period of times because the mind never agree but all the need to mind now in africa we never continue to fight what our ancestors believe what we have been living it's most most of the times us and that's why you be so fanatic you see or every black say oh take god and put in point in the sky no why put in the point in the sky and god is in our mind they distracting us they distract us we are going to go to heaven africa is how we go to have life we live in condition worse in africa even though we have whatever in everybody have hey guys i know you're enjoying this video but please take the time hit the link in the description and sign up to alois rubash's new screen you can sign up either monthly or for the year to really invest in yourself to really cultivate your mindset cultivate the power of who you truly are it is all about the knowledge and power that you have with it and it is the application of the knowledge that is going to take you far in life this is an investment that is infinite, that has infinite amount of supply because coming to Alois Rabatch's teachings, experiencing the word of God, and what is the word of God? It's about empowering yourself. That is what we're putting here for you. We're cultivating a community of like-minded individuals for people who want to grow, for people who want to continue to cultivate that mindset of, I can do anything up to my mind to. I can go out and work on my health work on my happiness nothing outside of me is going to make me happy i can work on my love and my beauty because i have everything i am an amazing person you are too so hit the link in the description it's going to take you to sign up for your you screen membership today because why they teach us you could be suffering here but somewhere in heaven you go to be good there is no way heaven and hell is not area we'll be walking to see and the end of world you know you've been in hell now you could be in hell now or you could be in heaven now according with what is in your mind the world you want to be see everything's taught with somebody and that taught you become powerful than you and then how you become that slave so that is how we keep you a slave our mind people think slavery it's more physical no african you have be still slave for others people taught to be christian to be a muslim we are slaves for other people other community that is why we keep having inferiority complex as african what we have is what we have it's in ourselves inferiority complex is in our mind and only things got to change man is to believe yourself
is to believe your God, if you to believe your power, your presence of God is within you and which is in your mind. This thing you're not going to learn anywhere. You're not going to be teached by anywhere. You will not have any greed to know if your mind is your God. You don't need a pastor to tell you if you are God because you really God. You don't need a pastor to pray for you what you want because you already have powerful to do it for yourself. You can change and become that pastor if you want. But that pastor that is good, that would feed his family. That has given him his job. See, there's a pastor, there's a doctor, there's a professional driver, there's a professional cameraman, there's professional everything. Even all those professional give us the way to, to live, to survive. Because everybody need they need. See, the pastor need that. He need those people to pay him in fight. Africa, we are still slaves in our mind, not in physical work. Almost. That's why we keep thinking of it. Guys, the physical, this is where we go to stop it. Only the way we stop is to know, forget about those religions. Knew you are God and discord it nature belief. Is nature belief is to believe in yourself, to have faith in yourself. And that is you and nothing else. Imagine if all people together were united with our own mind. Our, if you put people's mind there, no one is able to know which color. You can't know which is white, which is red, which is yellow. No, every mind is where it is and it perform the way it is within yourself to be where you are and to do and to have what you desire. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and I'm sure you're gonna love that one.